Hey guys, it's been a while since I've made another vlog, but as many of you may know, I don't have my Integra anymore. Um, I posted on my Instagram a few months back regarding the um, accident that I have, but I do have another project. I have an EG hatch that was gifted by my lovely boyfriend. So this is a 1994 EG Civic hatch in the color Harvard Blue. I know the paint needs some help so it will get a paint job. No, I'm not going Midori anymore. A lot of you have been asking if I'm going to go Midori but I think I'm going to keep the original OEM paint coat on this one. Ignore all the mess inside. A lot of this is um, Integra parts from my old car. but. It is all fully stock, uh, full interior. The seats gotta go though. I think I'm gonna put the GSR ones just because I think they feel a lot better. And yeah, I'm not gutting it. I'm gonna keep it stock and ride it like this for a good while. So for now, our plan is just to keep the body looking stock, make it look a little bit more refreshed with the new paint job. Keep like the mirror stock, spoiler stock, maybe add like an OEM um, front lip, but nothing too crazy. I just want it to be like a little fun cruiser because he's tired of his car not being a fun cruiser. Oh, and I need to put AC in this. It's a must. I think it's cool that I have the glass um, headlights on. So originally there was a B series in here. We're gonna put my B18C1. And right now I'm just running my old um, Team Flexi coilovers from my Integra because EGDC. So the engine bay does look like it needs a little help. It's just kind of dirty. And I know he bought this car for me as a gift. This was my Christmas gift. I am very thankful. But I kind of see it as our car, so we're gonna make this all nice together. I'm so excited. I'm just broke. <laughs> so this is a motor that came out of the Integra. This is what we're going to be putting inside of the EG. Alright, so unfortunately we won't be dropping in the motor today. I would like to we are waiting on some parts um, some things that already have been done is our friend Arthur he resealed our motor so for now what we're gonna be doing today is putting the throttle body and we're gonna try if his distributor works on mine because mine's broken so yeah should be fun um, we're waiting on the clutch and flywheel so we can proceed and I'm going to be picking up some motor mounts tomorrow so maybe by next weekend hopefully we can drop it in and get it running and yeah exciting exciting stuff you guys want to know something funny Daniel um, sold me this intake manifold and throttle body when we were just friends I had no idea who he was yet and then my Integra like wouldn't start because I stripped my head, so we had to retap the the head. And we're planning on taking this off, so I'm kind of scared. I'm scared because I don't want that to happen again, but I do want to clean it and do this right, so we'll see. But yeah, it was from his car. It was from his car. It's on my car now, and it ended up coming back to his house somehow. <laughs> So we're going to start off with replacing my throttle body. Um, the butterfly valve for some reason would always get stuck and it would be kind of annoying. So we have a replacement and I'm just going to go ahead and bolt that right on.
because we're going to be replacing my distributor um, from my accident unfortunately it did crack so we're just gonna use the one off of Daniel's old motor hopefully it works I'm pretty sure it's the same thing As you can see, the distributor is cracked, so that is why we need to replace it. Early the next morning. I mean, it depends on the water. So we're at Chris's shop. <laughs> John has some stuff for sale. Say hi. And there's coffee and donuts. Oh, my battery's gonna die. This is gonna be cut pretty short. What's your several days later all right you guys it is actually the next weekend we just fast forwarded time a bit um i got some parts we're going to be putting my transmission together and doing like a little refresh so i got a new flywheel and clutch just stock stuff and we got some motor mounts and hopefully we can go ahead and drop in the motor today. The EG's been sitting and it's finally being worked on so I'm actually pretty excited about that. And here's the trans. It, we're gonna clean it. It is filthy and disgusting. We're just gonna start assembling everything. And I don't know what I'm doing. Daniel's supervising me and helping me too. The old flywheel is off. I actually had Daniel help me put the new one on. Once the mounting bolts were all lubricated, I went ahead and torqued them down to 90 foot pounds. And off camera, I did do 30 and 60 foot pounds beforehand. Here I was having some issues trying to align the pressure plate on so I kind of just had Daniel align it for me. After hand tightening the bolts, I went ahead and torqued down the pressure plate in the steps of 5 foot pounds and then 10 foot pounds and then finally 20 foot pounds as I'm doing here on camera. So I hit the trans with 
some engine degreaser because it was like really filthy you can even see like all the murkiness i just didn't want to film during only because the splashback got me kind of dirty i didn't want to get my camera dirty but we don't have a pressure washer so this will do for now ew that's nasty Alright, so we're just jacking the car right up and preparing for the motor to go in. Here I was trying to help guide in the motor for Daniel as he was lowering it down into the engine bay. We did come across some technical difficulties along the way but in the end the motor's in as you will see. So the motor's in. I'm so happy. Um, hopefully we can get the EG on the road soon. I am waiting on a few parts. I will be installing them the following weekend and hopefully the EG can be on the road soon and I know Daniel's really happy. He's really excited for me. Unfortunately, I did not film out an outro, so thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next vlog. Hopefully in the next vlog, the EG will be on the road, I promise.